to do it in a match, to have the situational awareness to do it in a match. Uh, he goes up against uh, the Mani, the Sage deck. Uh, this, is this a button check? This, yeah, this this is probably a button check. But the Mani would probably play uh, Bowser or Little Matt. I think those are the two characters I'm calling for him. Coffee, he's known to play Fox as well. But uh, he's probably going to go for Greninja. He doesn't want to doesn't want to fool around too much he's one match away from losing swing he wants to get in that grand final he wants that prize money he wants another crack at Mikey he lost 2-1 to Mikey earlier so you know he's, he's doing he is doing something that not many people do you know, not many people take a game from from Mike so for him to take a game from Mike and it, trust if if we were to be able to stream that a little sooner to let you people see it that match was intense that match was crazy uh, Coffee himself has a lot of respect for Mike from, from what he saw. Uh, he would probably put Mike up there with a lot of the guys that he does play over in America. But uh, let's get into game one. So Bowser, just as I call it, going up against Coffee's Greninja. So, hmm, I'm not sure what to say about this matchup. Uh, Bowser is a character. You must always know what you're doing. You must must be very good with your dodges must very be very precise with your attacks because your attacks will more than likely net a punish for you uh, very good upbeat from him reading the role is very good option Bowser has to read rolls uh, oh nice neutral air to stop the side B cancel but uh, 55% to 34% match looking fairly even the man is doing pretty all right here against him and ooh, nice neutral air to up smash. Good link. Yep. Ooh, got a little greedy. He read the uh, the jump on instead of you go on. Here we go. Oh, that that was that was fairly clean. And that is also fairly clean. Uh, you don't find many. Greninja players here in Barbados using Shadow Sneak effectively. And oh! The invincibility on the up smash. Catching the extended hurt box of the back here. And that will be the first stop for Damani. But uh, let's see what uh, Coffee can come up with here. 12% on, on the board for Damani. He's going to want to get as much percent as possible. And this back throw will it kill? Nope, it's Bowser. Of course it won't. Uh, what, what's gonna happen here? Down throw. Oh, down B to fear. So 44%. Looking good for Tamani. He's gonna want to keep adding on some percent here. Bowser's in rage. And even at this 44%, oh, uh, what I was gonna say is, even at this 44%, Greninja has to watch himself. Make sure that uh, he doesn't allow the money to get a read on forward smash or or even you know something like down B because Bowser in rage is a problem and <laughs> looking like Captain Falcon here with the Greninja up here juggles and whoop. oh he went for the foot swoop combo very nice setup right now this could be anyone's game you know, Bowser thrives on the rage. Mm, he went for the taunt. He thought he had the game, but Bowser says no. The money, the money wants to rewrite the script. He says no. I'm not dying yet. It's not, not just yet. Oh my God! Taunt setups. Yep. And Coffee is gonna want to close out this game pretty fast. Bowser's in that area now, where he's in rage again, and. Attacks are going to start hitting really hard. And all it takes is that one, one tilt, that one back here, that one forward smash. <laughs> and Greninja could easily die from this 71%, depending on where he is on the stage. Because we saw, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. All it takes is that one hard read, and Bowser in Rage will make you pay for not securing a kill. So game one goes to... The Manny. 
I'm gonna have to apologize. I have the names up top backwards. Uh, I'm gonna switch that around right now. Uh, we're going into game two. And caught into it pretty quickly. It's looking like a salty run back right now. Uh, coffee. He's got feel for how the man he plays. He's gonna want to change up a couple things. And ooh, nice footstool. And he's go being far more aggressive here now. Far, far more aggressive. And he's at 69%. He's probably, probably realized. Oh, well, let me not, let me not sit back with this guy. I can, I can just run in. I can confuse him with my movement. And that is exactly what's happening right now. And the man he cannot cope. And the jab mix up into forward smash that was clean uh, but uh 48% and a whole stock in ahead he went for a ha oh my oh my he went for a hard read and he's basically let the money back into this game essentially if he takes 20% we're gonna end up in the same position as last game where Bowser could either have the lead and it's a problem or he could not have the lead be in rage and you just constantly have to look out for that one that one attack that could just just kill you for right now coffee's he's not in a bad spot he's at 37% he doesn't have to worry too much about the rage as yet for another 15 20 percent or so and with that fear, he's he's almost there. Just want the man probably just want like a jab, a jab or so now. And he went for the up smash, allowing the man to get back to the ground safely. We're back into the neutral. Uh, that dash attack should have been punished. Uh, Coffee putting his grab in the wrong direction. Dash attack, keep the edge guard going. These and. Yep. Uh, I'm guessing. I'm guessing the money ran for. He tried to block. The block probably didn't come out in time. I, I'm not sure what happened there. It looks pretty soft, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, coffee went for the same option three times. Third time is a charm, and the counter pick is to Little Matt. This, this is extremely risky. Extremely risky. Grenin this the, the way this Greninja is moving, uh, he's gonna have to move equally as crazy as this Greninja to hold his own in this matchup because Greninja gets this guy off stage. The way Coffee is moving today, it does not look like he will play any games with this little map once he gets off stage. But we have to see because the money right now is even, but little map could die at this percent. He's at death percent right now, <laughs> so. We're just gonna have to wait and see. We're just gonna have to wait to see what Damani does. He's doing fairly well. He's getting in on coffee. He's not letting him have a moment to breathe. And that forest smash is pretty solid. That uh, be probably wanted that land on ledge. Had the spacing off ever so slightly. And here we go. Oh my, and that, oh wow, that was a clean game, using the upbeat to aim it, he aimed it down and then up to get the, oh, and he misspaced that neutrally, landing into the sweet spot, up smack, and the match is somehow even, so now it's last stop. And Matt is gonna put on percent. If he gets grenaded at about 20% right now, he ooh and what an ending! Wow, that that was anticlimactic. That was anticlimactic, people. That he probably wanted that side B to grab on his ledge. He took a moment to think about it. Probably wanted to push up B, but up, the Matt's up B doesn't sweet spot the ledge. So that's what probably made him second guess himself. So he decided to go for the side B and that moment he took to think about it is the moment that effectively caused him to SD. Uh, that's hard luck. Uh, so from here, we're probably going to do winner's final so that uh, Coffee could get a moment to breathe. So if this is winner's final, it's going to be the king. It's going to be the king. The winner's final, we have a rating shot kick.
the reigning champion of Barbados, the reigning champion of St. Lucia. I mean, if he, if he wins here today with the best players in Trinidad here in Barbados, can we say he's the king of Trinidad? I mean, the trainees, they're going to be salty about it. The trainees will definitely be salty if we say he'll be the king of Trinidad for that. But we're going to take it because if if the trainees have been here, they're going to say they're the kings of Barbados. So, tit for tat. Uh, the king is seated. He is ready with his Mega Man. And his opponent, <laughs> his opponent is Honoré. Who is who is his opponent? Who? Who? Hold on. Who? You lose this fight already. You don't lose this fight. You have to play. You you're out or you in? You're in. You lose this fight already. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, so Mike, who who do you have to play? Kill him up, kill him. All right, so it's looking like the king against Kiyama. So Kiyama, Kiyama came in a game he is unfamiliar with. Well, not unfamiliar. He knows how to play, but he, you know he's not known for playing it. And he's here in winners final in Super Smash Brothers. Fell a little short in Street Fighter. I'm not sure if that was on stream. Um, but uh, came out fell a little short there. St. Lucian's cleaning up in Street Fighter. Uh, we try not to let that happen here. We got like, St. Lucian in the losers final. We have two Bajans here in the winners final. Whoever loses this has to. Oh no! Oh no! I don't think. I don't think it's. I don't Who's in losers final? I'm gonna have to take a look at the brackets, but here in winners final we have two Bajans, so you know whoever loses this ends up into the losers final and that means Barbados still has representation here but the other countries they will have something to say about that I think it's Asim Asim versus Tosaka to see who goes into the 